this is once again Jörn from StartupRate.io. We are at the Merck Innovation Center here in lovely Darmstadt. As you can see, we have very nice weather out there. In the back, we have actually the working space of the startups of the Merck Accelerator program. And I do have one of the startups here. Um, could you briefly introduce yourself to our listeners and viewers? Sure. Uh, my name is uh, Uli Tillich. I'm the CTO and one of the CEOs for Oculus. Um, a startup based in the Berlin area. My background is in bioinformatics and uh, biosystem technology and I did my PhD in molecular biology. And I'm one of the co-founders together with uh, Kilian Moser who handles uh, the business uh, side and uh, Katja Schulze who does the image recognition to which we'll get in a bit. Um, and what we have basically is a, a mobile microscope. So it's uh, based on a smartphone. Just a, This is an LG G4, just a regular Smartphone, and then we have an adapter. This here in the camera, yeah. this is everything. That's the magic. There, everything happens in there. Yeah. At least the part of the magic you can touch. <laughs> <laughs> so um, once you plug that onto the device and turn it on, I can show this also maybe quickly. It turns into a microscope with about 400x magnification. So something you would typically have in about this size and for a thousand to six thousand euros. And what we do is with this we replace uh, the lab microscope and then we have uh, an image recognition algorithm in the cloud. So images are taken in the smartphone, sent to the cloud, processed with image recognition and sent back to the phone within seconds. And with this we basically replace the, the tedious tasks that someone analyzing something on a microscope would have to do manually before. Great. and. Um Apparently, since we talked before about it, it's like, uh, what does a smartphone and a beer have in common, right? So you're asking me, what, what does yeah. a <laughs> smartphone and a beer have in common? So hopefully, uh, you will think of Oculus better brewing when, <laughs> <laughs> when that question comes up in the future. Um, yeah, so uh, our first application is uh, for breweries, which uh, is called Better Brewing. It's our first sub-brand where what we do is we analyze uh, yeast for breweries. Um, yeast is super important uh, for beer because the, the brewers always say they make beer, but if you're, if you're pedantic about it, what they make is worth. And then the yeast makes beer out of the worth. Um, and the brewer has to know how many yeast cells does he have and how many of these yeast cells are healthy and able to do their work. Uh, because otherwise he will not get beer of consistent quality. And of course, very large breweries have this down to a science is a science, um, but uh, smaller and medium breweries um, do not all have the capability of analyzing their yeast, which means that they buy their yeast fresh or use a dry yeast new for each batch, which is a significant cost. Uh, and with our device, these breweries will be enabled uh, or are enabled uh, to analyze their yeast and uh, thus save a lot of cost on dry yeast. Or if they were using a microscope before and we've already recycled their yeast, um, they will be able to save a lot of working time on, on a task that actually a machine does better than a human anyway. And it, it, it's no fun. I've yet to meet someone who enjoys counting uh, yeast on a microscope. And um, you're, you're not actually in healthcare, but you are a microscope replacement for now. But um, as we talked before, you already work with other fields of business, other areas I do have in mind because I grew up on one, a vineyard. Yeah, so we actually have uh, vineyards uh, among our customers. And so anyone, anyone who works with yeast really, uh, we also have uh, one biofuel producer uh, who uses our device to, to analyze this yeast. Um, yeah, but uh, our main focus is on breweries, uh, but, but we can work with vineyards or um, Maybe even someone who, who cultures yeast for um, for whatever purpose for uh, other food as a how do you call this Schmacksverstärker um, <laughs> um, taste enhancer taste enhancer yep. so yeast is also used for that um, so we can work with anyone who wants to culture yeast uh, can use that device really and uh, to the other applications that you asked. Um, so um, medicine, yeah, we're, we're staying a bit away from that because it it's, uh, has so many legal and regulatory hurdles uh, to get a product to market, which is a, as a small startup. So by now we're, we're uh, eight full-time equivalents, so we're not tiny anymore. 
but for a medical product we would need a lot more investment than we already have and a bigger team it just take years and years to get to market uh, we do have a corporation um, in Kenya we're more from the academic side we're looking at uh, using the device for blood analysis and, and malaria detection uh, especially in, in rural areas um, and the next application we're focusing on commercially is for dairy cows, where we actually analyze, um, do a microscopic analysis, which gives the dairy farmer info about the fertility of his cow. Um, and the idea is to prevent um, a lot of the, the inseminations, which are unsuccessful at the moment, uh, diagnose the problem early and treat those cows uh, so they become uh, pregnant and then produce milk. Otherwise, it's a huge cost factor also for uh, for dairy farmers who, I guess, at least in Europe, um, are, are struggling as it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the product, okay? So when you log into the app, this is what you'd see, where you have the option between viability and concentration or only concentration um, and history, which I'll show at the end. Uh, so for now, we'll, let's do only concentration measurement. Um, so here, if you... This knob is actually for focus. What you see there in the center is uh, already yeast cell, about uh, seven micrometers big. And we have to take um, a couple of images for statistical purposes. So uh, you get a representative sample. Here what he checked is that the image is in focus. Uh, that's the one check he does on the app. Everything else is uh, done in our cloud server. And then we move to the next location. We need uh, five images total. And doing these five images is uh, basically what um, the same area that you would analyze on a toma chamber in a microscope, which is the, the go-to method that brewers uh, learn uh, during their training. So after the last image, uh, you can give the whole thing a name. Um, date and time are entered automatically. We can put in how much we diluted it before loading it into the chamber. So in this case, let's say we diluted it 1 to 9. Um, you can give a comment if you want. Uh, you can review the pictures which are already on the cloud server being processed. And once we click next step, so once the image is processed, here you see the results, the name we gave it. Uh, the concentration is 5 million uh, cells per milliliter. You also get a histogram of the size distribution. Um, and you can re review the individual images if you want to make sure that the recognition work worked perfectly. And here you see the black borders means the cells were recognized and the yellow borders are actually the cells which are budding, um, which are counted a bit differently. So the ones with the yellow border, uh, those are budding cells, so they're reproducing. And we have to differentiate those because for concentration they're only counted if they're at least 50% uh, of the size of the mother cell. And for viability analysis, which we didn't do here, they're not counted at all uh, because uh, that doesn't give you an accurate measurement. And this is something um, that other systems do not do and which is uh, based on the recommendations of the experts in the field on, on how to uh, count and uh, determine viability for yeast. And if we go back to the, to the main menu, um, here we also have the history and in the history you can see uh, previous results which is the same screen we just had before. Great, R really exciting and let me know when you at one point enter the medical field, okay? Sure, I will. Thank you. Thank you.